Hi everyone, Cinder here. Welcome back to Bioshock 2. As we jump back into it. This is a new recording session for me, so this will be fun. Let's see, how much money do I have? Uh, I'll buy some rivets. Okay, now we just need to go buy the incinerate plasmid. And we should be good to go. So, oh yeah, I don't have a, I have the drill out. What am I doing? Ow. Not the best start, but we'll we'll recover. I got this. <laughs> You're dead. Stop. Yay, drill. <laughs> what do you have oh, drill fuel. I could have gone up and drilled. Don't worry, I'm not using drill fuel as much right now, but later, even if you're not using it that much right now, later you'll end up using drill fuel more. Trust me. Especially if you upgrade the drill. Probably not the last upgrade, I'm probably not going to get it. But, uh, the other two, yes. And I already hacked this one, so let's heal up and move on. I hear enemies. Oh yeah, we could drink some cola. Good news. On the surface, your parents sought a private life, using their great talents to provide for you. They learned to twist the lies of church and government, believing themselves masters of the system. But the parasites said, No! The child has a duty. He will go to war and die for the nation. Oh, there's actually stuff in this fridge. <laughs> you wouldn't think so, but uh, there is. And some alcohol up there. No. Oh, the water was electric. Great! Glad I didn't take much damage from that. If I did take damage, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, here is the second Power to the People machine. You now have access to it. You can, again, buy what you want, but now we have the machine gun. So let's look over its upgrades. You can reinforce the barrels for uh, higher damage. Hooray. You get a stabilization cylinder, which results in more accurate fire, which I really like that. Uh, to me, that really makes the machine gun um, even more worth it. If you like using it, that upgrade is really big for it. Once you have both upgrades, the third upgrade is the ricochet upgrade. High density electric field prevents shots from breaking upon breaking up on first impact, causing them to ricochet. You can have some fun with this. Is it really practical? No, but it is fun to try and use. Because <laughs> I don't remember it uh, ricocheting like after you shoot somebody. You can like ricochet it off the walls and stuff. Um, but I could be remembering that upgrade wrong. Um, I am going to get the drill fuel efficiency because I do like using the drill. And like I said, if it didn't take so much fuel to spin the drill, this would be more useful. But it does, so while it can't, it can be useful. It's probably not one I'm going to pick up personally. But I'm definitely going to get the drill fuel. Yay! And you saw that little little bit got added. <laughs> Alright, that's the second of the machines. So, two for two. We're doing good so far. And I think those are the only two in this place. You're no messiah. Oh, father. Oh. Ow, you actually, you actually went through that. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, I'm full on heavy rivets. That's good news. Bot shutdown, huh? Hmm. Hmm. 
<laughs> Should I? Is the question. Yeah. I can show it off. But first. I uh, met with Sinclair today of Sinclair Solutions. It's this pseudo legal firm he set up to take problems Ryan doesn't want to admit he has and make them go away. I could fill 40 front pages of the Tribune with stories about this fella if he wasn't paying me not to. And he's got work for me, right? I ask what? And he flashes me these thousand dollar Steinman teeth saying this job will, quote, change history. Interesting. Well, I bought a couple of things. You saw that there. Oh, yeah, you have drill fuel. Okay. Here's what we're going to do now. I'm going to purposely botch this. This hack. Trigger the alarm. Trigger the butt shut. The butt shut down. Yeah, the bot shut down. <laughs> kind of meshed all the words there together. And make sure they're here, and then trigger the shutdown alarm. There you go. Great. Well worth the uh, the med kit. So, we're going to hack you now. You work for me. And we're going to hack you now. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. I think it'll still work. Maybe? Okay. Well, that's good news. I should have looted the other one then. Ah! Didn't remember that right. Where is the... We just recently had a health machine. Where... Where, oh, where was it? Over here. There we go. Good news. I think so, anyway. <laughs> Okay, now what we can do is actually hack the the safe. Try to anyway. Uh, you can only have two security bots, I think, at one time. That's all you can you can control. Pretty sure. Not 100% sure about that. Well, messed that up. Stop. Guess we could try now, right? <laughs> Full on 50 caliber rounds. Yeah, see, I can't hack that one. Because I already have to. But it'll just sit there. And I want the cash. Ah, I missed it. That's a shame. We still get $44 to auto hack darts and six trap rivets. Auto hack darts are different, they will instantly hack any machine from a distance. Now, it doesn't give you the perfect hack, like the blue, it doesn't give you the blue bonus, if I remember right, but what it does do is just instantly hack it. You need something done fast. <laughs> in fact, I'm going to put that on, just in case. You can just quickly switch, uh, switch to it, shoot, and there you go. Yeah, see, I can't hack this one. That'd be a good way to fill up on 50 caliber rounds, though. I never really thought about that, but you could do that. Yep, I am full on 50 cal rounds. Okay. There you go. Disease. More 50 caliber rounds. Get him, security bot! Yeah, good, they're both still firing. Good news. Oh, there's the security. There's a camera, too. You can get beneath the camera like this. There we go. Now that's ours. For some period of time. That way you don't have to use the, uh the remote hack tool. You don't have to use the remote hack tool. Um, I just have all these, like, getting to the camera <laughs> tricks 
because of Bioshock 1. You didn't have an auto, you didn't have a hack tool like that. You had to be right there. So I've learned how to sneak around and get to the cameras and things like that. So I probably don't use the hack tool as much as I as I could. Third session today was amazing limey shrink, Dr. Sophia Lamb. She said that all Ryan's horse shit about always looking out for number one is turning us little guys against each other. And what we need is unity, solidarity. Then, huh, she held up a mirror. Turns out, I wear my hair and mustache just like Ryan. So today, I'm spreading the word about Lamb. And tonight, <laughs> I'm shaving my whole stupid head. Lamb knows how to uh, talk to the people. Rapture failed, we will not. Reject the tyranny of the self. And security bots in the way. <laughs> the end of Ryan is the end of self. Lamb will lead the way. Sure. Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> Anything else? Doesn't look like it. We head through here, find another recording. I know this facility is vital for the preservation of secrecy and rapture. But seeing myself transformed into that lurching, waxen nightmare, do children truly respond to this? Still, I spoke to a young man exiting the park after the grand opening, asking him what, if anything, he had learned here. He said his chores didn't seem so bad anymore, as long as Mother wouldn't send him to the surface. So it seemed like, you know, Ryan, it worked for, it was working. With this, we open all the doors! Oh, well, that's not great. No, no, there's a person. <laughs> there to attack us. We get some music. Get him, security bot! He speaketh through me! You, you messed up, security bot. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, I missed. Security bot, help! <laughs> there we go. A <laughs> little slow there, but that's okay. Get him, security bot! The other one may have died. If so, that is a shame. That. Yeah, I'm full on the... I'm so full on 50 caliber rounds. Why don't I switch to the machine gun? That would be the smart thing to do. I really don't need to purchase anything. Looks like we go this way. Busted pile of junk. You broke it. Edna. Remote Every dart. Full on remote shit. dart. Mean. You're mean, Roger. It was probably your clumsy, fat hand that loused it up. Typical broad. Stay away from things you don't know nothing about. Guess what? It works. <laughs> That's a good time to use the remote dart. As it fires and gets rid of him. Ow. There we go. And we'll hack this machine. Free drill fuel. Oh, I was hoping for a free med kit. Bought a shutdown panel just in case you mess up. <laughs> but there you go. Um. 
Oh, I still have both security bots. That's good news. What do you have? Nothing. Okay. These pictures here are all pictures of... So, you would drain the people of their life's blood. Rapture is a body, Delta. I am the voice, and Big Sister is the hand. When Rapture speaks of you, it says only this. Sleep now. Your day is done. Too bad for you, Lamb. I'm the heart of the body. How about that? All of these are actually pictures of different uh, plasmids. Like, we have the Electro Bolt one. See? Matches the picture. There's a gatherer's garden. That's frosted over. Hi! Yeah, I saw you there. Don't think I didn't. Quote from Andrew Ryan. There we go, there's a first aid kit. We lost another of the Alpha Series protectors today in testing. Somewhere outside the city limits, he simply vanished. For these men, Rapture has no walls. We must find a method of conditioning them against abandonment of the little sisters. Something physical. Possibly even lethal. The lab aides are starting to call them big daddies. Perhaps there's some genius to that. Bonded pairs, connected by a love that kills. Welcome to the first... Ah, oh, free Epipo. Too bad I'm full. Welcome to the first Gatherer's Garden. At Gatherer's Garden, we had the broken one earlier at the beginning of the game. But at Gatherer's Gardens that aren't broken, aren't broken, you can purchase gene upgrades with Adam, the Adam that we got. We have to buy Incinerate. That is something that we have to have to buy. By the way, age is 12 and up. So if you're over 12, you could have had Incinerate in Rapture. Think about that. You could have thrown fire if you're 12 or over. Huh. Incinerate costs 90, so we'll buy that. Because we have to. We need it. Incineration. When it absolutely positively has to erupt in flames, don't wait. Incinerate. Light up enemies to a thousand degrees. Warning, fire spread. Evolve today. All right. Eve Link, your first eight kits will also give you some Eve back, which is interesting. Um, I highly suggest the health upgrade, which increases your maximum health. Good news. Eve Link, it's if you want to buy it or not. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I, I don't think it's a lot of Eve back, but you do get some. Um, I usually buy it, but to change things up, I'm not going to buy it. Congratulations on your and we'll hold on to the 30 of the incinerate plasmid. Say, Tom here is having a romantic evening with a gal. What would impress her more than lighting the fireplace with a snap of your fingers? Light the fireplace with the snap of my fingers. Okay, I can do this. Yeah! No, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to light the oil slick. But uh, it's funny because the oil is there as well. So, like this. <laughs> oh man, they are so toasty now. Doing great. <laughs> uh, the Eve hypo is right here, which is why I'm messing around with Incinerate. Uh, Incinerate is actually a really good plasmid. It's one of the ones that I like to use. Uh, the reason for that is you can catch something on fire and then just run away. Just leave. They will continuously, enemies will continuously take damage while they're on fire. This can also lead to some pretty uh, interesting uses for like traps and things because you could 
shoot fire at an exploding barrel, for example. You can use oil slicks now to set up some uh, ambushes and traps. Because we've seen that there are a lot of oil slicks around. Ha uh ha. -huh. Can't fool me! And then it burned and died. The initial fire blast does a decent amount of damage, but you're really waiting for the uh, for the fire to kick in. Now, to be honest, incinerate isn't going to help you as much in hard mode. You'll want to stick with Electrobolt, and the reason for that is because of the stun that Electrobolt has. Remember, you want to take as least amount of damage as possible because you take more damage on hard. But... Since I'm playing on normal, I'm going to be using Incinerate because I like using Incinerate. It's pretty fun. Oh, a party. But this party just hit the skids. Carl needs a light for his cigar, and no one can help him. So you throw a fireball at his face to uh, get the cigar lit. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> don't quite think that one through. <laughs> of course, you would probably be able to just use, like, one finger and incinerate something like that, but we're not going to do that. Now, we can leave that way, but why? We have incinerate now, which means we can uh, melt the ice. Here is another uh, garden here. Uh, I'm short. That's sad. Um, there is the gene tonic, uh, slot upgrade here, which lets you equip another gene tonic slot, which is really cool. This is one of those said gene tonics. Armored shell reduces all physical damage. To me, needed if you're playing on hard. <laughs> Careful hacker, the hacking needle moves slightly slower, but if you get really good at hacking, you don't really need that one. And then there's extra nutrition. Uh, these are all gene tonics. These three. So you have to have a gene tonic slot, which you can get an upgrade to get another one. You gain a little extra health from snacks and bandages. Again, I don't think that's anything super special, but that's, uh, that's something you can get. I really like armored shell. It's useful. And of course, additional gene tonic slots are also great. But I'm going to save for the Eve upgrade. But that is here. And we can also incinerate that. Though I think I'm full on all of this. Yeah, trap rivets and things like that. Trap rivets and heavy rivets. Cola, I could use that. Oh, well, a lot of ammo that, unfortunately, I'm full on. Too bad I can't sell ammo for money and then come back and pick it up. That'd be great. <laughs> huh. I wonder what caused that. Well, you probably know the answer to that. Just keep on walking. Guess what? It's fight time! Burn! Stop that! Stop! There we go. That was our first encounter with the big sister, Unbreakable. Holy Moses, son. Not even a big sister can keep you down. Well, come on back and melt the ice and we can say goodbye to this two-bit carny ride. That could have gone better, but uh, <laughs> that 
just try to take her down as quickly as possible. You can use your drill. You can use heavy rivets. You got those recently. You can incinerate for extra damage over time. You can zap her to stop her from uh, using that really big telekinesis. That's really what she's doing. Or you can use the 50 caliber rounds, but probably not the best thing against the big sister. Big sisters have Adam. So she has 40 Adam, a first aid kit, and $63. You can see wallet filled to full. Oh, I'm full on uh, wallet. That's great. I can go buy stuff. Um, you can see how the health bar is now larger than the, uh, the Eve bar. Because we got that upgrade. So it does lengthen the bar quite a bit. Free drill fuel. Bye, bye. Pick up the rest of the money before I forget. Yay. And they typically have a lot of cash on them, too, so that's good news. At least that one did. May have just got lucky. With that, though, I'm going to go back and buy the Eve upgrade. Because I can. There we go. And that'll be all. And now the Eve bar isn't as long as the health bar, but it is, you, we'll, we'll get some more uses out of it. This is important because, the, those upgrades are important because they make every item go, make every item better. The health kit restores you to full health, right? Well, the more health you have, the more you get out of it. The Eve hypo gives you all of your Eve back. The more Eve you have, the more you get out of it. Um... Yeah, and I'll buy another first aid kit. Because we were almost full on cash. So, full cash looks like $600. There's that. Make sure to loot the big sister for all of the stuff, especially the Atom. And... That's, uh... That's just about it for this place. Now we have the incinerate plasmid. saw the individual as a hero, a noble survivor, and Rapture was his paradise, a shrine to the supremacy of the self. The result? Slavery, genocide, chaos. Now that the tyrant is dead, we are a true collective, a single family. He's gone. James was the only man I ever loved, and now it's like he never even came to Rapture. He heard me sing at the limbo room, came up all bashful. He liked hearing songs about what it's really like to live in this town. I think he's been trying to organize folks against Ryan. And now he's gone, and I'm here, singing Rise, Rapture, Rise. Scared to death they're gonna come for me yeah that's not great <laughs> not great at all um I think we're we're okay oh there's a first aid kit here well might as well because we're leaving this place so grab everything that you can because you're leaving Full on rivets. I'm oh, good. We're full on supplies. Leaving this place. Good news. Another oil slick. Oops. Down there. There we go. Thaw the frozen door, which we have. Outstanding sport. You're proven to be quite a windfall. Now just open the train tunnel from the security booth there, and I'll come out and jump on. Restart the train line. We'll do that. By the way, you get attacked here if I remember right. 
But you can't leave or anything. Oh. Hi. I like to look a man in the eye when I give him my word. You and me, kid. We're going places. Sinclair Solution. I had thought you some golem of Sinclair's. Brought here to hold Rupture's arms while he rifles through her pockets. But no. You are aware of your plight. Who, I wonder, would be so cruel to force a mirror on a man with no face? Lem was waiting for us. Come out shooting and start the train. Get on the train. We'll just burn that one. <laughs> That'll be fun. Which caught the oil slick on fire, which is what I wanted. Burn! Remember, fire spreads. One of the reasons I really like the incinerate uh, mod there. Stuns more than I remember, to be honest. Oh, there we go. Something exploded. I think one of the uh, bots died, which is a shame. Are you done? I really like the incinerate plasmid. <laughs> so not quite as full as I would have liked. <laughs> but, let me reload this real quick. Again, grab everything you can because you will be leaving. So I'm just going to go back here real quick. And grab the 50 caliber ammo. There's no reason not to. Again, grab everything you can. Make sure you found both Power to the People machines. These aren't super hidden, so you shouldn't have that much of a problem. They're practically right in front of you both times. That will not stay the case, however, as we continue our journey through Rapture. But, that will do it for this episode after we leave. Warning, you're about to leave this level. Make sure you've done everything you want here before proceeding past this point. The game tells you. Pretty much, there's no, there is no, go, there's not pretty much, there is no going back in this game. There's no level select. Once you move past an area, that's it. Everything here is gone forever. I wish I could pick up more of the ammo <laughs> to take with me, but that is not the case. Anything you leave here is just left here. So grab as much of it as possible before you leave. And again, make sure you got the two uh, Power to the People machines. With all of that... Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you had a lot of fun. As the train gets a move on. Next time, we will be exploring Popper's Drop. Until then, I'm Cinder A9. Remember to shoot for the stars, and take care, everyone. Remember, the enemy is alone. We are the family. Lamb's trying to box us in, kid. This is a goddamn citywide lockdown. To keep the train moving, you need the security override key from the local governor, Grace Holloway. She kicked me out of my own hotel down here, the Sinclair Deluxe. Find her and get that key.